everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again, and you guys will not believe it. We It seems like this week, I mean, things have just been flying at us a million miles an hour. We had the, you know, the Target app stuff with AEW Series number four, and then what we have. We had, like, the potential to possibly know what, if it was true or not, and we were, we were thinking to ourselves, and we were wondering. Then we actually had the series officially confirmed for us, right? We had the whole series series confirmed for us by Jeremy and he took to Twitter and he announced the full series as we as we knew of course it was Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, Matt Hardy, Santana, Ortiz and Sammy Guevara. And then yesterday we had a new Ultimate Edition figure announced in Hulk Hogan and then we also had the announcement of a brand new AEW action figure wave which will be the Unmatched series instead of the Unrivaled series that we talked about. And today this morning I opened my eyes, I go on social media and now AEW Series number four is being shared all over the place. Three of the figures have been revealed, what they look like and everything like that. So I would guess these figures are probably going to be in stock very soon. I would say in the next couple weeks probably because you guys remember Series 3 got leaked. Remember we had Series 3 leaked and then it was what, like a couple, two, three weeks later they were in stock. So... And they went up for pre-order yesterday on Ringside Collectibles. If you guys missed that, I think they've already sold out. I actually was napping and missed it, so now I hate myself. I rip, By the look of these figures, now I'm pretty upset. But let's go ahead and dive into the images, guys. You will see on your screen, you can see all three figures there. And the figures that are featured are Santana, Matt Hardy, and Kenny Omega from the set. And we're going to break down these images and talk about them and what they look like and see what they look like and try to get as many details out of them as we possibly can. And so let's just go ahead and start off with the AEW champion, Kenny Omega. And this one obviously is a big one. Everybody loves Kenny Omega. And look at that, Brad. It looks exactly like I thought it would. You guys remember, I think it was when the series was confirmed, I took to a video and I told you guys that it would be in this gear. I even pulled up the image of it and you guys can see that it's pretty much confirmed. I can't remember the event it was, but it's that, you know, the gold circles on the hips and it's like that gray and silver attire that looks really badass. I, I, I never learned what the inspiration behind that gear was, but you can see here that it looks great. I like the sort of like pissed off open mouth head sculpt. It really doesn't bother me. He's kind of like yelling or doing his entrance it seems. Now while I would have loved to seen a you know just a pissed off determined face we will eventually get it. We are going to eventually get a Kenny Omega where it's just determined or pissed off and not like groaning or yelling or whatever but I like this hair sculpt that I'm making out right here. The hair color looks pretty good from what I can see. The white wrist tape. You got the black entrance vest. The same attire like we said and it looks like he does come with interchangeable hands. I can't tell. It looks like his left hand is sort of like an open like you know what I'm saying? Kind of grand entrance, kind of like Jinder Mahal-like hand. Then you have the shooter hand in the right hand. And then you also have the mic holding hands in the side packaging there to go with his vest. But this figure looks great. It looks like the skin tone is fixed, which is absolutely huge. And after today, guys, we are going to do action figure surgery. I have a brand new action figure surgery coming in the morning. So do not miss out on that. I will probably plug the thumbnail in right here so you guys can see what we got going on. Tons of AEW figure stuff going on in there so AEW figure stuff is just running wild here but how long also this just popped in my head how long do you think the guy that Jeremy will keep this packaging for the AEW figures or you think they'll ever change it that will be interesting moving forward but the Kenny Omega looks really good I'm really hyped for this figure cannot wait to see it I from what I can make out the lightness is pretty good and uh, if you wanted to, you could probably pop his Series 1 head sculpt on there and just paint it. The Kenny Omega looks good, guys. I, I like the way it's going on. But the next figure in the set, guys, is going to be Matt Hardy. So Matt Hardy right here. It's kind of hard because there's that big AF glare on the left side right there. So it's kind of hard to make out some details of what we got going on. I really can't even tell what his accessories are back there or what's going on. But I will do my best to explain it to you and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on it. So diving into Matt Hardy as best I can, guys, from this angle, his head sculpt pretty much just looks like your standard Matt Hardy, you know, uh, sort of woken or, or broken head sculpt is what it looks like. It does look like it's going to come with the red hair. And like I said in, I think it was yesterday or the day before his video about AEW Series number 4, I talked about how it seemed like they kind of plugged him in here. I don't know if he was playing for Series 4 beforehand, but he has been plugged in here. And uh, it, it's kind of hard again to make up the details 
But the head sculpt looks like a woken head sculpt. It seems like I can see a little bit of the beard detail going on. This shirt mold is very interesting. I can't tell if that... It looks like it's going to be cloth, actually. It looks cloth. I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like it's going to be like a cloth shirt. And it look, I'm sure it'll be removable in some aspect. You got the pants going on, which do have some graphics on the side. It does look like... I will pull up a side-by-side -side image of what the attire should look like and everything so you guys can kind of see what we got going on. It kind of looks like he has Chris Jericho boots by this image here, which it could be wrong. It may not be accurate, but it does look like he comes with a pretty good amount of interchangeable hands. I see a pointing hand, I think, down there. I see a fist. I see a grabbing hand. I can't really tell exactly, but also in the top right corner, I don't know what that is. You guys see that little, little red puffball? I can't tell what that is or what's going on with that. We, we should know more stuff. I'm sure Jeremy's going to leak the photos very soon because, uh, you know, this photo got leaked and then, you know, other photos have been leaked online and everything like that. I guarantee he's probably going to leak them probably later today or in a couple days for sure. And we will get on here and we will discuss all of it because this is not all the figures, but I had to get on here and share this with you guys. But Matt Hardy, I like what's going on with it. You know, it, it, it's kind of hard again with the glare and everything. It's not a great image. You can't really see clearly. Well, none of these are really the greatest images, but... I think the Matt Hardy figure is going to be okay once we get it in hand, but there are some questionable things going on. But it, I think it's because I don't have the, uh, you know, I don't have the best quality image right here. But of course, we are missing the other three figures in the set. So Ortiz is missing, Cody's missing, and Sammy Guevara is missing. So we'll have to get those in here. But the last figure in the set, guys, that we have today is Santana, unless. Unless Jeremy posts the photos literally like in the next few minutes or later on today, I will post those up as well. So it may be a double upload talking about images, but Santana right here, guys. I like what we got going on. It does look like he has the Puerto Rican flag in the background. I think that's what that flag is. He has interchangeable hands. You got his tattoo on the chest. You even have the headband on there. And I like how low the headband sits. It's very accurate. I like the way Santana looks right there with everything going on. It's kind of hard to make out the details, but this is the head sculpt we saw in that little pre-render that I told you guys about where he tweeted about you know going into Walmart finding an action figure of himself on the shelves like you know how important that was for him and his daughter and his family and everything like that so I think that is pretty cool that that is the head sculpt that we are going to be getting and I think that is going to be interesting moving forward so some very interesting things going on with this Santana figure man the, the overalls like draping down in the front which is very insane now is it gonna be where you can like pull that thing up and he can wear it regular and then he can pull the straps down like Kurt Angle that is badass. I think that's very sick. We said this before with Orange Cassidy and, you know, the technology they've been using in their figures. I knew that that would probably be the first stepping stone towards something would be, you know, this tool, the, you know, this really cool retooling and trying to think outside the box when making these action figures. The background and the team that they have with Magic and then they have Jeremy from, you know, the old Jax days and, you know, they have Magic who has worked with Mattel and everything. They have a lot of brilliant minds over there at Jazzwares working on these figures. So I think that this is excellent, man. I think this is going to look great. I'll do my best to try and pull up reference images, you know, to try and compare the two between it and you guys can make your own assumptions and everything but really like what we got going on with Santana can't wait to see Ortiz and everything but uh, I, I like what we got going on. Lots of accessories it looks like to come with Santana. He's got a lot of stuff going on. The head sculpts kind of virtually look the same. I don't know if one has a headband that's like non-removable and maybe the other head sculpt the headband can come off. That way you can have you know two different versions there just in case you know the headband keeps falling off because those head sculpts look pretty much the same to me. That's at least what I'm getting. They may be a little different, but they look the exact same to me. But I, I like what's going on with Santana, man. I think all three of the figures look pretty damn good. Again, I think Jeremy's going to end up posting the images because I think this happened with Series 3, right? We had this, we had the Series 4 stuff. We had the Series 3 images leaked and then like literally a day later or maybe even the same day. I can't re exactly remember. But I'm pretty sure he shared them immediately afterwards. But overall, I'm hyped for the series, man. I think all of these look really, really good. I cannot wait for them. Overall, out of these three images, guys, I will say, though, I think I'm most hyped for Kenny Omega. I just I am so super hyped about it. Again, can't wait to see what the rest of the set looks like with Ortiz and Cody and Sammy Guevara, see what the chase variants look like, all of that stuff, so still yet to be known, we'll have to find out I low-key hope Kenny's the chase variant but I guess we'll just have to see, and they've done interchangeable head sculpts, right, they've done they've done a different head sculpt, didn't Riho have a different head sculpt on her chase figure, so we'll just have to see about that, but before we get out of here guys, let's get into our random shout out again, if Jeremy ends up posting images, man, we will uh, put those up and we will showcase the real actual images, let's go ahead and get into our random shout out, 
And this random shout-out is going to go to Random Nerd, who says, Too bad the Ultimate Edition Hogan choices aren't any of his 0203 run attires. Love the attire collection from that era of Hogan. And I totally agree. That is why I hearted the comment. I totally agree with that. I cannot believe they didn't give us an undisputed champion Hogan or one of those attire, you know, one of those uh, attires. But if you guys remember, we talked about a leak about Legend Series 10. I think I talked about that where we're probably going to be getting an undisputed champion Hulk Hogan in that wave. So maybe that will be something that we can uh, have come to fruition for us. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I enjoyed the images. Let me know what you guys think of it. I, I think it's insane at all the AEW freaking figure knowledge and news that we've been breaking here lately. Like, so much stuff going on. But let me know what you guys think of everything down in the comment section below. Do you like the images? What are your takes away from it? Let me know everything down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And don't forget not to cross the line. Don't forget not to cross the line. Double negative there. Don't use double negatives and don't cross the line. You cross the line. I've been beat.